Hi lovelies, it's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and today we are doing the reading for the men. So I decided to do, um, there seems to be an awful lot of readings out there for women or women based or neutral um, based readings for men and women but there doesn't seem to be an awful lot out there that is just directed at the guys. So. I decided to introduce this particular reading um, for two reasons. One is to give the guys some guidance. Um, it is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Um, but two, also, um, if women want to tap in to see um, how the cards kind of work out for the guys, um, if they've got a complication currently in their life and it may give them an indication um, of what's going on with uh, the men in their lives and it doesn't have to be your partner it can be your son it can be a son-in-law it can be a brother an uncle a dad um, all sorts of things so this is for the guys this is for the men and um, we're going to ask the cards if we can have a current card for the men for the week the 8th to the 15th of September please okay okay and can I have a challenge card please for the week for the men for the 8th to the 15th of September oh what on earth is going on with you guys ouch okay so, can I have a foundation card for the men for the week the 8th to the 15th of September, please? Oh, very nice, like that. And can I have an energy that's passing, passing through? Thank you. And can I have a card for the thoughts and feelings for the men that are watching this video, please? Thoughts and feelings for the 8th to 15th of September, for the general reading for the men. Okay. Okay. And can I have a future card for the men for this reading for the 8th to the 15th of September? General reading, can I please have a future? Oh, we've got a couple. Okay. So to start the reading off, um, kind of getting that a lot of you out there, you might come across as being confident, but actually you feel like you're dying inside a lot of the time. And you're feeling really protective about any projects you've got going on at the moment. Um, you're kind of hiding your light under a bushel because you feel that somebody is out to steal your ideas or you feel that somebody may take your idea and run with it um, when you haven't really had time to uh, look at it fully yourself and see in which direction you want to take it. Now... The uh, Nine of Wands is um, a near completion. It's um, a wish fulfillment. You need to let your guard down a little bit. Um, you know, if people have worked with you on this project, stop shutting them out um, because that they're just um, they need um, some recognition about what they've done on this project. And I, I don't know why you're getting this seat. I've not really seen anything around the secrecy at the moment. And there's a lot of secrecy within this reading. Um, and it could be that you've had your fingers burnt for some reason. And I am getting that this um, is more around um, your work life career or um, some, some sort of project that you want to get off the ground. Um, that you're seeing other people doing something similar, but you've got an edge to it, you've got a quirk to it that makes it unique 
to you and I'm not saying discuss it with the world or put it out on social media or anything like that but if somebody has given you some support over this stop shutting them out because their support will continue now your challenge is to stop thinking of everything as a disaster you need to, to shift your perception from the negative to the positive when you see um the wild hunt card which is similar to the tarot it doesn't mean destruction of something it means the rebuilding of something the light is shining the hunt has been successful you have hunted down a new way of being um, and it's rebuilding the tower instead of destroying the tower it's to make it stronger it's to give it better foundations see your challenge for the week is stop being so closed off and overprotective over this project and stop thinking in negative terms start thinking positively start using positive words around yourself so instead of saying i can't do that say i cannot do that because it makes it positive rather than negative because you've got a positive word before the negative word there's a whole host of stuff out on the internet about how you can train yourself to speak in positive terms rather than negative terms but it's also your perception your thinking your whole way around you at the moment um that everything at the moment just appears to be disastrous it isn't disastrous it just appears to be disastrous and the reason i'm saying that is because you've got the horned god now this guy he is He's in your foundation, he is the protector, he's the keeper of the wild, the wild animals, the trees, the forests, the woodlands, the streams, he is, he's the protector, the keeper and also he offers protection to ourselves individually as well as collectively. So to draw strength from him, the horned god is there to draw strength from, he is a warrior. He is a um, pathfinder um, and in being in your foundation, you have got a very strong foundation. So I don't know what it is that's kind of rocking the center part of you at the moment, but your feet are firmly on the ground. You know who you are. You know what you want to do and where you want to be. You know who you want to protect. You know, you know you need to protect this project, but you don't need to be secretive about the project. Um, yeah, your, your foundation is just really strong. Go out into nature. Go out and have a walk somewhere and ground yourself. If you haven't got a dog, go and borrow a dog if you don't want to walk on your own. Um yeah, just go and get grounded. And if you've got a nice garden, go and sit in your garden. I know in the UK today it's a bit overcast. But the air's fresh and clean and, yeah, it, it's doing okay out there for a September day. So, yeah, get yourself a bit more grounded, I think, is, is what it's trying to tell you, is that you need to be in nature as well as in nurture. So the energy that's leaving you is the Seven of Athames. Now, the Seven of Athames in this particular deck tells you of the creation of a new path, a new way, a new beginning of something and turning your back on something, how you lived previously. And it may be that you've become more green. It may be that you have decided to lift up, live off the grid. It may be that you have decided... Um, that you are going to move out in the country or you're going to move out from out in the country into a town. It's a whole new way of living, a whole new way of being, a whole new way of being self-sufficient. And this is moving out of your energy. So I kind of feel that this has already happened. Um, and for some of you, it would have been really positive and for some of you, it's it's just showing that you feel that it's a bit of a disaster. But hold off, because in your thoughts and feelings, you are hiding in the shadows. And the Lord of Shadows tells us to step into the light. Let the sun shine on you. Do not hide 
behind trees. Go and enjoy the company of others. Just because you're enjoying the company of others doesn't mean you're going to let the secrets go. It doesn't mean that it's going to be disastrous. It just means that you're enjoying the company of others. Now, bringing yourself round to the future, you've still got... Um, this card, which is the Five of the Thames. Now, the Five of the Thames tells us that somebody else is having their say. They are trying to have a prod and a poke, and they're trying to get you to think the way they're thinking. And I feel for you, whoever this reading is for, for you, it is difficult for you to say the word no. There is nothing wrong with the word no. It's in the English vocabulary for a reason. It is there to tell people that we are not happy with doing that particular task or dealing with that issue at that time. It doesn't mean we're never going to deal with it. It just means no for now. Um, so if you feel really strongly about this, you really do need to stand your ground. And if you do stand your ground and you do get your point across, don't stand and argue with somebody Give your truth, stand in your truth, give your story and then let it be. Let that seed sow into the other person's head and let it grow. It may take some time um, because it's the five of the famous. I'm going to say it's going to take five months for that person to come round into thinking um, that what you're telling them is is the right way for you not particularly for them but for you um and that they should have supported you more fully now that can be a man or a woman it doesn't have to be um man based but i do get the feeling that it is to do with business now also in your future you have the ace of pentacles there's an offer coming your way <coughs> sorry guys there's an offer you're coming your way and this offer is everything it's um, abundance, it's where you live, it's how you're going to live off the land, it's, it's your dream place to be and the offer is there and there is going to be the finances there to make everything, make the flowers grow basically. Um, so in general what I'm going to say, whoever this reading is for, you've had a bit of a pickle um, I would say over the last 10 months, just looking at the car, I would say that this, whoever this is for, it's been 10 months of hard slog and you not understanding that by hiding um, in the shadows and keeping things to yourself that you're not actually producing this that you're producing more um i'm gonna say i've just been given the word criticism and you're taking that criticism to heart because you feel that the criticism is disastrous well criticism isn't disastrous criticism um shouldn't even be around a project or in a workplace um there should be um gentle persuasion there should be encouragement um there should be ideas bounded around um yeah it's almost like you've stepped your toe into a new way of being it's, it's got you back to that tree again it's got you back in the shadows and it's kind of like there is this somebody who Who is kind of keeping you under their thumb. That's what it feels like. They're keeping you um, oppressed and under their thumbs. You just need to break free. You've got a knife in your hand, for goodness sake. Just cut free from this person. Just sever the tie and have done with it. It's not doing you any good. It doesn't serve a purpose to you. It, it's not worth your time to be dealing with that kind of energy. You need to get more of the horned god energy into your life so that you are able to come out of the shadows and that's what you want to do in your head you're lo looking and longing 
to step out into the sunshine and that's exactly where you need to be because your ace of pentacles is telling you that's where you need to be let's see what the angels have got to the archangels have got to say for you for this week and we have got the high priestess and this is powerful psychic insights reflection meditation that provides valuable information be at peace take notice of your dreams even if you kind of i kind of get the feeling that you do believe in this stuff if you're if you're coming to this reading um but i kind of get the feeling that you don't trust in yourself to have this take more notice of your dreams and even if you can't meditate during the day um try to meditate just before you go to sleep it's easier to get yourself into a meditative state um, when you're more tired um, yeah it provides valuable information so I'm going to take from that the, the, the information that you need um, around all of this situation is within yourself so then you've got the Queen of Gabriel and it says you can do anything right now go after what you want the ability to attract helpful people there we go again with you being overprotective there are helpful people around and you're able to attract more of those healthy helpful people and then you have the seven of ariel you have invested wisely have patience and wait for the harvest review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor so again don't hide do not hide away um it is not good for you it's not good for your soul so we are going to ask Gaia if she's got some guidance for this week some guidance for the gents for the week the 8th to the 15th for this general reading and some guidance for the guys out there that are watching this reading for the 8th to the 15th of September Oh, right. I'm going to take the first lot that flew out. So the first one that turned over was purification, which is fire, bare essentials, naked truth and wholeness. Now what this means is, is facing yourself. It's not facing other people. It's not admitting anything that you're wrong. But it's being truthful with yourself. It's having that chat with yourself about what wholeness means to you what will make you complete um the naked truth is being brutally honest with yourself about what you like about yourself and what you don't like about yourself shedding of the outer casing and allowing the fire to purify and bring the new you forward then you have the moonlight goddess and it says repressed emotions healing and reflection so if you're holding in your emotions and you're holding in how you feel, you are doing damage to yourself and your health. And you do need to go through a process of healing. You don't need to find people to heal. You can just call in the angels and the ancestors to help you do the reflection so that you are able to heal yourself. You are more than capable, according to this reading, to heal yourself and then you've got Ganesha and it says clearing away obstacles protection and guidance you've got everything there you need to clear away some of this stuff that you're holding within some of these perceptions that you've got self restriction is one of the most powerful repressive oppressive um, things that we can do to ourselves and then we allow people to come along and give us the idea that we need self restrictions we need to put our desires on hold because desire is wrong it is not wrong desire is healthy desire in a balanced life is a real healthy way to be we are human with a human body and human feelings and human needs and if we clear away the obstacles if we clear away the self-restriction 
we know that we are protected by the outer realms out there. Protection doesn't come from being a mighty man. Protection doesn't come from having somebody in your life that's going to go and do your dirty work for you. Protection comes from where guidance comes from and that can come from within and it can come from a higher realm. And with the energies that have been around, I know it's been a confusing time for everybody over, the, I would say, the last six weeks. Um, know that the guidance is there if you tap into it, if you meditate. We've had the meditation card here somewhere, which was this one, the High Priestess. If you meditate, you know, the guidance will come. You will get introduced to people in meditation from the spirit work realm, from the ancestors, the angels, people that you have known in this lifetime who've passed through, um, people that you haven't known in this lifetime but have a connection to, they are all there with their protection and guidance. They've walked this path before. So reach out and ask for the help, ask um, for the obstacles to be cleared and work to clear your own obstacles your own self-perception that you need to have rules and regulations in order to have order you don't you don't you can have order um and not have rules and regulations you can have ideas and perceptions about things different way of, of thinking of things so hold on to that we're going to ask the angels and ancestors if they have got any wisdom or knowledge that they would like to share with us at this time. Okay. Ooh, that's a nice pile for the guys. Okay, gents, you have Medicine Mother. And it says, honour your inner knowing. What have we just been talking about? Honour your inner knowing. You know this stuff. You've been here. You've started to ascend. Don't cap yourself. Don't hide yourself away because it doesn't feel normal. It doesn't feel quite right. It's not supposed to feel quite right. And if you're feeling that you're shedding stuff, or like I've just been through this huge thing where I'm arguing people in my head, it's because I'm getting rid of those arguments. I'm getting rid of those lessons. They are leaving me now. Um, so if that's kind of kind of thing that's churning up for you, um, yeah, that's because you're ridding yourself of it. You know, and your inner knowing knows that. And you need that inner knowing to be recognised by yourself. You have the air guardian. Shift your perception. What was I just saying? Shift your perception. It, honestly, you really do need to have a massive shift here, guys. You've got the lady. Enjoy growth and reap rewards. When you've shifted that perception, doors will open for you. And if you look at the apple in her hand, the one that she's picked, she's cut it in half. There is a star in the middle of that apple. That is a wish fulfillment. You have the Shaolin Master. Be grateful in movement and action. Now, that doesn't mean taking up arms or anything. Movement and action uh, means moving forward. And it can mean moving forward with love and grace. Um, it's purposeful moving forward. It's an intention of moving forward. And you can move forward. It's saying, get out of the shadows. You need to be in that light. A great teacher. And at the back of the great teacher, I think you can see it more clearly with this camera, that there is the flower of life in the background. You have got the dove and you have got the great teacher. And this says, learn from spiritual experiences. We have spiritual experiences every day. Do not ignore them. Do not boohoo them. If a child smiles at you or tries to offer you something, no matter how minute or how tiny um, the offering is, or what the offering is, a head of a daisy, or a stone out of the garden, never turn them away, because that is a spiritual teaching of acceptance. Um, our spiritual teachings come in all shapes and forms. They come from all ages. There is no bounds. 
um, with spiritual teachings. But it also tells us that what we have taken on board and been taught, we now need to share that and become the spiritual teachers ourselves and not hold on to what we've taught because we can't ascend unless we are sharing our vibrations and our energies with other people to help lift the vibration and the energy of the planet. You have the protection guardian. You're so protected, guys. Whoever this is for, come on. This, this is just... It says drop your shield. Drop your shield. What on earth are you doing? Stop shutting yourself away from the world. The world needs you. You were born for a reason. You're on this planet for a reason. You may not have found that reason yet. Or you may be blooming to find that reason now. But shifting your perception and dropping your shield. And accepting that this is happening. It is happening. Um, and you can deny it as much as you like. It's going to happen with or without you. One way or the other. And then you have the shaman. And it says, trust in your higher forces. Trust in the angels, the ancestors, the guides, the source. Whatever you believe. Even if you don't believe in a higher being than yourself. You can see the trees. You can see the sun. You can see the moon. You can see the earth beneath your feet. Have trust in your higher forces. And they can be your higher forces. They are tangible you can see them you can touch them you can feel them um, and what i say to people about the higher source the higher being and people say to me how do, how can you prove they're there i said well i can't prove that air is there but it is because i'm breathing so you know kind of like if you've got that feeling that you want to have that higher feeling that higher connection go for it do your meditations it's really important and then you have got the stag and it says trust and thrive. I mean, the whole reading is about you opening up and being, uh, having this different perception about the world and the life around you. Um, I'm still kind of getting that this is to do with business, career, um, work life. But I'm also getting that this does overspill into your private life. Um, and I'm kind of getting that some of you are painfully shy um, and some of you have been bitten badly and you have shied away from this openness. You know, you're missing so much, absolutely so much. I wasn't going to do the fairies, but I'm going to do the fairies. I don't care if you guys, you can have some fairy magic. You can have some, um, some fairy dust. Let's have a wish from the fairies. What do you wish? For the guys for this week oh have some of you got birthdays going on well we've all got birthdays going on but this is a significant birthday holds an answer to your question now this could be your birthday it could be a family birthday it could be a friend's birthday it could be a party that you get invited to that where, where you're going to meet new people um let your hair down have a play for goodness sake be somebody you're not for once it would be absolutely wonderful to see this all shifting and taking place for you so we're going to ask Gaia for a dream for you guys for the men for the fifth uh, no sorry for the 8th for the 15th of september can we have a dream for the guys for the following week, oh, got several. Okay, we have got. Oh, sorry, people. I was just. I've never pulled this card before. Now I believe that this is the six of air. I will have to check it. I am absolutely rubbish with these symbols and everything. So this is Earth. We have the one of Earth. We also have, oh, another six. And this is a fire. I know that because it's got red in it. Um, we have, we've got another perception card. Oh, my God. You need to shift your perception. I wish I'd put the perception cards out separately. And what was I saying about desires? We have the desire card. It's okay. 
I'm going to put these up here. It's okay to have desires. It's okay to shift your perception and think of things differently. The perception card is beautiful. It's wonderful. It's an angel. Um, and although she is dark, she offers you so much. She offers you knowledge. She offers you communication. She offers you the opportunity to cut things loose that no longer serve you. And your desire card is your wish fulfillment. It's what you want out of life. It's everything. It is earth, air, fire, water. You can bring it all to you. And if you look, you have the lotus flower of healing at the bottom. Your desire to move on and do this is just there. It is just lovely. I am going to look this one up, guys, because I've never pulled it before. Um, so I'm a little bit intrigued because I've never actually seen um, the card before. So I'm going to have a quick look. I've seen both the others, so I'm quite happy with what they are telling me. Let's just see if we can find um, this one in the book. Oh, and here's the Six of Air. I said it. Did I say it's the Six of Air? I can't remember. Anyway. This six of air represents a solution born of compromise that lies somewhere between black and white, either or choices that are so often seen as the only options available. Now is a good time to contemplate and compare a range of different options in order to discover the best solution for one and all. The six of air is presenting you with an opportunity to act with mindfulness and awareness from this moment onwards, choose to take responsibility for your thoughts and beliefs, actions, understandings that even take a passive or in inactive role. By doing nothing or allowing others to make decisions on our behalf, you are making a choice, which was the five of the Thames. That is still going on for you. Um, the only drawback is that when you will no longer be able to blame others or ste for stealing your power if it was your choice to give it away. So it's talking about regaining your power, taking that power back, shifting your perception, looking at the desires that you've always had and leading to new opportunities. This is the, in other decks, this is the ace. It's... um. The Ace of Wands, I think, if I'm if I'm right. But in this card, it's Ace of Earth, and it, in this deck, it, it, for me, this is um, protection. It's a way forward. It's a wish fulfillment. It's there if you want to take it. It's a new way of being. Again, um, I think you've had two aces now. Um, you know this this whole new way that you need, that you would like, but you're avoiding. And it's in your thoughts, but it's not in your life at the moment. It's there for you. Go out into nature. Do that grounding I was telling you about earlier. Get to be one with the earth. Because it's so important. And then you have um, the six. The six of fire. And what you have in this cup, you have a cup that's over because something has overspilled and it is no longer, it's spilling out because there's too much of it in there. You want a full cup, you don't want an overspilling cup. And it tells you of the black and white again, your perception around something. And you have the swords to cut that perception, to cut away, to break free from whatever it is that holds you back, that holds you to... Um, this fire character. Um, don't let, I've just heard, look at the card again. And I'm kind of like, if you look at the card, the water that's dripping out is helping the dandelion grow. And I've got a big affinity with dandelions. I absolutely love them. And I will explain in a minute what that's about. But this dandelion is growing. Most people think of them as weeds. I don't. Um, this water is spilling out and it's allowing that weed to grow. Um, and rightly so. But also, that 
water, if it spills out too much, it's going to put out your fire. It's going to put out your desire, your thoughts, your feelings. Don't let it do that. Cut it loose. Don't cut the dandelion, though, because I won't be very happy with you. So, guys, I'm just going to get a Blessed Bee card, and then I'll give you a rundown on what dandelions mean for me. So, can I have a Blessed Bee card for the guys and the men for uh, the following week, which is, thank you, the 8th to the 15th, I was going to say. And you have a blessing for forgiveness. So I don't know if you need to forgive yourself about something or if you need to forgive somebody else. Now is the time to do that. Again, shifting your perceptions and looking at your desires should clear the way for you very nicely um, to be able to forgive yourself or forgive others. A blessing on your sleep. If you're not sleeping at the moment, take this blessing wholeheartedly. Do a meditation before you go to sleep and help that help that drift you off and have the dreams that um, are going to give you the knowledge that you need. The knowledge is within you. You just need to bring it out from your inner self to your outer self, your inner conscience to your outer conscience. So there you have it. That is your beautiful weekly reading, guys. Um, for the ladies that are watching, for your gentlemen, they are bloody confused at the moment, ladies. They have got a lot on their plate, massive amount on their plate. Um, but the biggest thing is that they are frightened of coming forward and letting their light shine. So wherever you can, it doesn't matter who this man is to you in your life. Friend, family, lover, it doesn't matter. We need to be helping them um, understand that it's okay it's okay to say no it's okay to step out of the shadows it's okay to hold on and protect um a project but it's not okay to um make it look like a disaster uh when it affects other people so come on guys that that's a wonderful reading for the week i'm really excited for you um let me just tell you about the dandy lines before i tell you to like share and subscribe um, dandelions for me are the very first um, flowers that come out in the garden that sustain our bees and our bees are having such a tough time so in the spring I do not allow the first grass cut to happen until other flowers have started to bloom because the dandelions are so important to our bees um, in the wild um, also uh, with dandelions as well when they turn to seed um, do you remember as children we would pick them and we would tell the time by them I've kind of changed that a little bit now since I've done um, a Hawaiian mantra which shows you how to use a dandelion in the mantra to be able to blow away um, negatives that have happened to you and asking for forgiveness not just for yourself but for other people so the dandelion has a big place in my heart and in my garden. Um, I can see some out there as we are talking. So we have some late dandelions as well. So yeah, be kind to the dandelions. They really don't need to be destroyed. They need to be nurtured and loved. And remember that a weed is only a plant that's in the wrong place. Let your light shine, people. Bright blessings. Speak to you really soon. Bye for now.